Before we get into the video, if y'all want to support anything that I do, please do this. Please call the number, press 1, press 2, press 3, hit that code. You are not talking to anybody. It's an automated system. Support your boy, support your boy. Now let's get to the video. Here goes Sonny Halston being petty betty. And I find a lot of people who watch The View on a daily basis is kind of looking at Sonny and kind of seeing, okay, she's kind of being a little... Petty. And I'm y'all know I'm petty, too. So I'm all about being pettiness. But you can't just call yourself a journalist or or say you're a journalist, but be petty. I mean, one thing about Sarah Haynes is that you can definitely see that she is very um, communicative and she's very open with hearing a different angles of views politically or, or anything. And had she not say, hey, my 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 family are Trump supporters or had I not known who her husband was. I would probably still be questioning what she is politically. And because that's how it's supposed to be if you're a journalist. Like, I should not know where you stand politically if you want to be called a journalist. And Sonny Hawson, you know this. You are a traditionalist, but you haven't been acting like one, okay? So, I mean, you got to pick which one you want to be. You want to be petty and be a commentator, or you want to be an actual journalist and be open minded with facts? And not pettiness. Hi, right, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe and click that bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Please give me a thumbs up. Please share this video with your friends and your family and your social media pages. Donna Bell, my friend, you have friends all over. Share the video. Uh, Anna Joe, share it on your Twitter page. Come on. Come on, y'all. Y'all share. Help get my channel out there. Support me. It's free. It is free. Support your boy. It sounds like y'all want to support your boy. All right. Let's watch this clip of Sonny Hawson being petty, and I'll come back with some more. Holsters claim he needs to get independent voters on board who care more about the economy and the border than raising taxes on the rich or climate change. What do you think? <laughs> what do y'all think? One hundred percent. As an independent, uh, more and more Americans are also independents. I think the latest polls show that uh, 41 percent of voters consider themselves to be independents, mm -hmm. even though there is no independent party for any right. of us to vote for, for the most part. 29 percent Republicans, 29 percent Democrat. Listen, it always comes down to the pocketbook, I think, for independents. And so they are worried about inflation. Yeah. They're worried about the supply chain coming in, especially with Christmas and Hanukkah approaching. Um, and, and I think that price tag is, is everything to them. Um, and one of the things was Biden campaigned on being a moderate. Yeah. And he has this history of bringing the two parties together, which I think is what was so popular about him. And he really did woo the independent vote so mm -hmm. much more so than Hillary Clinton did. Mm -hmm. And so I think that you're seeing him trying to do that now mm -hmm. in the last couple of weeks, mm -hmm. really trying to bring back those skills that he has going between the parties and trying to get a deal done. Mm -hmm. See, I disagree with that. That sounded very Republican of you. No, it's very independent. Um, um, I'm, not, I'm not a Republican. I'm an independent. But it sounded Republican. And let me say this. Um, you know, there, there have been many studies about the rise of independence. And what those studies have found is that few Americans who identify as independent are actually independent. In fact, the, the study found that... Um, people who claim to be independent are actually less inclined to say that they're a Democrat or say that they are a Republican because of the stigma that's attached to it, especially after the Trump era. So they're not really actually changing their opinions or their views on politics. They're simply recusing themselves from publicly identifying well, I'm, I'm also an as independent. partisan. So I consider myself as an independent. I'm not registered yet as an independent. And I really think that the media, mainstream media and the people who are brainwashed by mainstream media feel that independents are um, partisan, uh, meaning they just want to be independent. But usually when there's an issue at hand out there, it's usually they take a side partisan wise. I was reading a stupid article that implied that, and that is so not true. See, I really don't trust articles, especially from like, you know, um, liberal leaning sources like a Vox or like this stupid website I was reading it from or just Politico or something, because it's usually the person that's writing these articles have a bias. And so I want actual facts. I want neutral facts. Um, but nowadays it's just it's just hard to, to even trust facts that even come from the CDC. So I can only talk to you about how I feel as an independent, like Sarah spoke to you how she felt as an independent. 
So the reason why I uh, want to be an independent is because I have issues on on both sides. I just pick everything on an issue by issue basis, like uh, Sarah Haynes, which I'm going to play the clip for you guys, what she said. Um, I am pro-life to the core. Um, and so the Democratic Party, of course, aren't pro-life. The Republican Party is pro-life. Um, I am Palestinian. Both sides of the parties usually aren't, you know, it's kind of, well, the Democratic side, it's, it's okay, we want a, um, a peace deal with the Palestinians, Israelis, Republican side, you know, they're just the pro the government of Israel. So, so, uh, Biden is, considers himself as a Zionist. Um, I, to my knowledge, till this day, I really don't even think or, 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 or even feel if he even done anything, um, for, for the Palestinians. Um, and so I'm an independent because I feel like me personally, I'm not represented, uh, by both parties and there are certain things from the democratic party that i like that the republican party may not be for like police reform i'm for police reform however i'm not for defunding the police um i don't agree with defunding the police but i do think there needs to be some type of reform where officers should get fired if they um do something illegally um on the republican side like i said i'm pro-life i don't want to pay uh, all that money in taxes when i make 400 plus thousand dollars a year so there's so there's different there's different um issues on uh both sides that i do agree with but that doesn't make me leaning to one party over the other sometimes Nowadays, with, 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 with what's going with the new era we live in, with the pronouns and everything, uh, then oh, sometimes I, I go hard. I go hard, like, you know, on Twitter and everything about the Democrats. But I'm really an independent. I don't like someone that's writing a damn article or someone like a Sonny Halston to say that I'm scared to say that I am a uh, independent conservative just because people out there will castrate me on the left i ain't scared of nobody okay y'all should know i have a mouth i don't care so this is what sarah haynes said and this is what i agree with sarah haynes roll the tape as partisan and i would agree with that the reason i am an independent is i don't think the boxes are checked oftentimes with whoever's presented to me it's too um why they each try to do too much and I don't agree and it's more issue to issue. So exactly. I don't feel honest in attending to one. I lean more left, mm -hmm. but I have always registered as independent because I really want to see what's presented. I wish there was a little more competition it, it, rather than just two parties. Mm -hmm. But um, I do think, I totally know what you've said on this topic before, Sonny, that like uh, President Biden won on the backs of certain people. Of black women. Black women. And black oh, people. And, and black people. Um, but I think that one thing he's missing right now is, and it's not his fault, but due to the economic struggles on the heels of this pandemic and these prices and everything that's going up, I do think we're seeing more people concerned with the budget, even though it does sound Republican, Sonny. I, uh, right now because they're having a hard time feeding their families and i think that's what we're seeing is it was almost like a, we were able to the climate crisis is real it's immediate but i think people are like i can't worry about the climate until i can feed my family exactly the, the jobs i think i think it's a unique time that's not biden's fault but i do think if they had done a little better job educating people about what was in this bill that would serve their pocket they could have maybe done more so don't tell me just because I consider myself independent that I am partisan when it comes when it when it comes down to a conclusion on picking this side. Don't tell me that. That's not your right as a person to tell me that. Come on now. Come on now. It's like people pick and choose when to say things when it benefits them. And I, I think that needs to stop. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. So you'll be the first to know when I upload. And Sunny Girl, you gotta get it together. Like I'm look, I'm all for pettiness. You know, I didn't, I didn't find that offensive or what you said at all, but it's like you're calling yourself a journalist, but then you're being this petty, like you're acting like a real, high, so that real housewives of Atlanta girl. Like you can't be doing that with, if you want to be a journalist or you want me to take you seriously. All right.